Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome to our MQL4 tutorial on algorithmic trading for beginners. In the previous tutorials, we looked at how to open orders, how to uh, close orders, how to modify them, um, etc. Uh, but now we have a question, what do we do if we already have an order in the market and we want to find out information about it? So we don't necessarily want to do anything yet but we just want to understand uh is this order um what the stop loss is for this order what the profit is what um uh, instrument this order has been executed on what the volume is and and all this uh, other information which is related to order how do we find that out and that's exactly what we're going to be looking at today so let's uh proceed to uh, meta editor and we're going to take our tutorial 19 over here, which we worked on uh, previously, and uh, we're going to save it as uh, tutorial 20, as we often do, and um, change this up here, compile that, that compiles perfectly fine. So we're going to leave this first part, which you are by now very familiar with, uh, the part where we send the order and then we have a fail safe mechanism to check everything was um, done correctly and then it will even leave this part where we tell the trader about our order and then we uh, delay execution for um, this is five seconds uh, to be precise now we're going to uh, get rid of these two bits just to save some space so we had the closing of the order here get rid of that uh, that was commented out anyway and then the modifying of the order that's the previous tutorial We'll also get rid of that. Um, and today uh, we're going to be looking at just getting information. So um, the situation is we've sent the order to the market. Here it is. We have the ticket number. We know uh, the unique identifier. So uh, we know what the order is. But we uh, we now we want to get more information on this order. So we want to uh, here we want to find out. Um, information like stop loss level or take profit level or um, the instrument and the um, other information like the direction of the order and it might seem trivial at this stage because we do already have this information in the program um, but let's imagine for a second that we don't that we uh, we were just our program was able to pick up this ticket number and now but it doesn't know all of this other information now we need to retrieve it or you could imagine it in this way that uh after the order was sent sufficient time has passed for things to change for example um the order could have been closed and we still have the ticket and we need to find out if the order is closed or still open and this is uh probably the most crucial part because uh all of the other things like stop loss take profit and um other like um other parameters of the order we won't be focusing on that as much uh in this um beginner's course but what we will need when we're coding our um uh standalone algorithmic trading system down the track we will need to be able to find out if the order has been closed or not so uh i'll point that out when we get to it but let's just start uh writing the code now um, so we we've uh, told our program to wait for uh, five seconds and uh, now we're going to uh, select our order and uh, to do that we need to use the order uh, select function and uh, here where it says index uh, we put in the ticket number and then uh, second parameter I'm just going to tell you what it is it's select by ticket don't worry about the other one at this stage so just for order select this tells your uh, program or your um, uh, a script in this case to um, select this uh, order that we have the ticket number for and remember the selection so once again order select returns uh, returns a boolean values telling us if the, if the selection was successful or not so we have to implement a fail safe mechanism uh, result is order select and then we have to check uh, result as we did previously if result is false then we have to uh, tell the trader something like um, error selecting 
order so he knows that uh, we weren't able to select order and we won't be proceeding with the next step otherwise else if everything was all right we're going to tell the trader that um, the order selected successfully very similar to what we've done we did before um, and uh, for ourselves we'll just write a comment here that now we can work um, with this uh, selected order and um, what that means is basically that uh, the terminal has saved uh, this selection uh, you'll understand what this means in a second the terminal has uh, the selection ha has been saved by the terminal all right and now we're going to tell the trader more information about this order we're going to extract this information uh, through this selection so we did the selection here and now that selection will allow us to extract uh, extract information information about order and hashtag for number and then we want to put in uh, the ticket number uh, usually I just want to make this clear because I'm not sure if I was clear enough about this before what we usually do is uh, or we can do is we will take um, uh, the ticket number uh, but in order uh, to actually convert it to a string we'll uh, do a type conversion here string ticket as you recall and then so this becomes a string and then we can catenate it with the rest but the alert statement by itself this function allows you to actually uh, put parameters or like separate them just by a comma and then you don't have to um, do this part you can just put an integer and it will automatically turn it into a string so I don't think I was clear enough about that both ways are fine so you can concatenate with a plus sign but then you have to turn it into a string or you can just use a comma and we'll use a comma today and then we'll put another comma and at the end we'll just put like colon so we know that the parameters come afterwards or the information comes afterwards so the trader knows that and then we're going to just have a series of alert statements telling us more about this order and we'll extract everything we can or everything we need at this stage so uh, what instrument what financial instrument is has this order been uh, created on uh, the this is how it is done so this is the important bit so instrument yes that's okay but where do we get the instrument we call the order symbol function it's a function as you can see doesn't take any void here void means um, that doesn't take any parameters and it returns a string here on the left it says string that means this is how you call the function uh, just empty brackets and uh, name function empty brackets and it'll return a string which we will add to the alert by means of this comma and what it will return is the financial instrument uh, where this order was opened so or where this order is opened so by selecting the order here we are now working with that order uh, via this function okay so let's do a couple more and that will make more sense or be a, like a bit more uh, easy to understand so what about type of order um, meaning is it a buy order is or a sell order order type there we go so that will tell us the type of the order which was selected by the order select fun function that's why I wrote here that selection has been saved by the terminal so he knows which one selected so whenever we call these functions he knows oh the terminal knows wh which order to go to to extract those um, values um, all right so there's gonna be quite a few open time uh, order open time is when uh, the order was opened um, open price is when the order was uh, what what at what price the order was opened alert um, how about we let's do volume now that'll be uh, how many lots uh, so the function is order lots here um, so the volume of the order next we'll do stop loss 
So here we will be able to pull out the current stop loss. And that will be, it can change. So if we've modified the order with order modify, as you remember in the previous examples, um, then it will always tell us the most recent stop loss, the one that's currently uh, uh, set for the order. Order take profit, similar. Um, how about comment? Remember that comment that we put? Uh, my uh, first order exclamation mark. So that's that will be the comment or any other comment if you set a different comment. Um, how about what else do we have? Order. Okay, this is an important one. Order close time. So I might stop here for a second. Uh, because this is uh, what I mentioned at the beginning that this is going to be uh, how we find out if the order has been closed or not. So here, if closed, uh, then then this will be a greater than zero value. If not closed, then it'll be less. Uh, then it'll be equal zero. So that's how this works. So if if the order has been closed and we still have this ticket, we're still holding on to this ticket number, but because a sufficient time has passed and the market conditions have either hit the stop loss or take profit, or we could have closed the order ourselves using the order close function. In any case, the order has been closed and the best way to find that out, and this is my recommended way and probably a lot of traders do it this way, um, you check the order close time function. So if the order close time is greater than zero, that means the order has been closed. It does have a close time. If it has not yet been closed, the order close time will always be zero. So it's a very safe way to check if the order has been closed or not. All right, uh, order close price. Um, so here, order close price, very similar. Um, uh, so <clears throat> with the order close price, this is a bit tricky. Well, basically if the order has been closed, so in this case, then it will have the uh, price at which it was closed. So we'll, we'll type in something similar. If closed, uh, then close price or price, uh, at close. If not closed, then um, how or possible uh, price to close. So I'll just um, put this on a new line so you can see. Um, so this one is interesting in the way that if, if the order has been closed, which you can check via the, this function as the prescribed method. So if the order has been closed, then uh, this value will be the close price and that's it, that's done. But if the order is still open, instead of returning nothing or a zero or something useless, uh, M MQL4 actually does a very useful thing and it uh, returns the price at which you can close the order by uh, if you were gonna close it right now at by the market. And so that's very useful in the sense that uh, because, uh, say, a buy order would always be closed at um, the bid price, so the cheaper price, and a sell order would always be closed at an ask price, at the dearer price, uh, it's always, uh, it, usually you'd have to run a check. So if your order is a buy order, close it at the bid. If your order is sell order, close it at the ask. However, because you have this order close price, it basically already incorporates that. So if your order is a buy order, order close price will be your um, current um, bid price. If it's your order is sell order, order close price will be ask price, current the current ask price. So MQL4 makes it very easy for you to uh, quickly understand at which price to close your order, regardless of whether it's a buy or a sell, you just have to use the order close price. So that's kind of a, sne a sneaky cheat code in MQL4. Don't have to use it uh, if you if you don't want to, but I find it quite uh, handy sometimes. So profit, uh, one more is um, 
the profit which will tell you either um, the profit of a closed order or the current running profit of an open order so I'm just cautious of time here this is becoming one of the long tutorials and um, uh, we'll just go and quickly see how this works so we'll compile that no errors or warnings which is great uh, go to the terminal uh, scripts let's find our tutorial 20 so I'm gonna drag this um, inputs we're not gonna change anything uh, okay sorry my bad uh, the trading wasn't on so trading is on now that's because I changed the account to have a uh, fresh balance over here every time you change account you got to change that as well or you have to apply the relevant settings um, anyway back to tutorial drag okay and there we go uh, so starting from here don't worry about that one our ticket it waited five seconds and then then this is the information we brought up so i'm just going to quickly bring up the windows magnifier so it's um easier to see so it's over here on the right this window and i'm, I'm just going to go through this so this was our first message for this uh launch of the script um that's the order if you if we look down here that's the order and 294 on the end 294 now we've select so we launched it then we waited five seconds between here you can see the time 34.15, 34.20, so we waited five seconds. And uh, then we have information about order. 294, that's our order. So instrument, euro, US dollar, that's correct. That's the instrument we sent uh, sent it with. Type zero, don't get afraid that this is zero. In MQL4, zero means buy, one means sell. Um, that's just uh, historically how it uh, has um, developed. Open time, one, four, this very long number, it is actually a code and um, that's how date dates and times are uh, date times basically are stored in MQL4 this is the number of seconds that has passed since 1970 first uh, January 1970 until the time and date when the order was actually opened so we can convert this into a proper date time but we won't bother about it we will just believe that this is the correct date and time all right, more importantly, open price 1.3527. Let's go down here and check if it is the correct open price. 1.3527, that is correct. All right, volume. Um, it was one lot. Uh, that, that is how many, uh, that's how big an order we requested. That's good. Um, stop loss uh, 1.3515 and take profit 1.3535. Let's check that quickly. Going down here, uh, stop loss 135.15, take profit 135.35. So the information has been extracted correctly. Comment, my first order exclamation mark. That is our comment. All right, and to the very important bit, my order close time. The order close time is zero. That means the order is still active, which you can see over here. It is still uh, in the market. And order close price 135.25. That is the price at which we could have closed the order at the time when we launched the script. And um, as we discussed as pro for, the, um, for this order, because the buy order, this represents the bid price at that time. And finally, profit minus 20 is um, just basically means that uh, that's what the profit was, profit the order had when we launched um, uh, the script. So that's that's also correct right now it's minus 30 but it's uh, one pip lower than it was when we launched the script and so that's basically how you get all the information uh, from an existing order if you have the ticket number I'm just gonna close this so it doesn't bother us anymore I hope that all makes sense we will be using some of this information very like we'll be relying it very heavily especially this order close time uh, when we develop our um, uh, algorithmic trading system and uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, if you are watching on YouTube uh, do subscribe so you can keep up to date with uh, more free tutorials that I post uh, I hope to see you on the next tutorial and until then happy coding